guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right into episode 14 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Case. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -hmm. BTW if I yawn, I am sorry. It is now almost 3.30 in the morning, and I just finished recording some ish, and this is the only thing I have left to do. Oh, yeah, that's what today's episode is about again. Yeah. I'm so happy I watched this last. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> Baby! <laughs> tells me that every single time where we get a moment where Kura Noon is just gonna pop up. Mm -hmm. Plus Kura Noon is gonna make it a <laughs> Oh god, I love this thing so much. This is now like my new new prize possession. <laughs> Cause she, mm, once again, as I said last week, like, uh, your girl was so excited to get this thing to come home cause like, uh, just everything in BB in the get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never selling this. Give my girl Laura some legs, please, so she can walk around and not hop. <laughs> Yo. God, this gives me feels of when I was in, like, I think 5th, 6th grade, and we had to read to the little kids. Best thing ever, because little kids are just so adorable. <laughs> Her voice, the little girl's voice, was so familiar to me, and I feel like I know it. It's probably my baby Kana. I mean, you just sound like Violet of our garden now, baby. Like, I mean, yeah, that's because your say you voices are. But. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, you're so cute. Is 
Uncle Best Mommy. Oh my god! Get at it! Oh damn. Yeah, it's a seal. No, 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 my <laughs> <laughs> you call that food? I know. It is Kirby's time to be a mommy. Our Kirby has grown since laid back camp, guys. Oh my god. Well, oh my god, Lord, I keep watching. So adorable. Oh, you got this. Just try. Hmm? Butterfly? Is that a sign that we're doing, you know, um, a secret episode with Yes Pretty Care? No, no, not even Yes Pretty Care 5. Wrong people. Maybe, like, somebody else of a Pretty Care series? It would be nice.
Oh, so you got a thing for him. Yeah, it's not only the fact that she possibly has, like, a little crush on him. She's also into the same things as him. Oh, my God. That's so adorable. Oh, my kids. It's so cute. Well, dang. Ten minutes in, we're already going to this. See, somebody on Twitter needs to go ahead and make, how long does it take, you know, the villain of the week to become a <laughs> I mean, you know, we had last season with Latte, like, how long does it take the dog to get sick? I know, like, seriously, 13 minutes and we're already into, like, the fight and everything. I don't really think the kids want to play with them, so... That's it? Are we making a car? Oh, that just built them back together. Okay, so how are you going to defeat a villain of the week when it can just go ahead and revert itself, girls? We screwed, aren't we? Mmm. The butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they're so fucking cute. Where's good at him? <gasps> there you are. Giving me Cody feels already. My dog. Come on, good at him. We gotta go.
Excuse me, sorry. Trying my best to stay awake as best as I can. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you two are the little kids. Do you need to go to safety? Mm -hmm. Can we literally say that this is an episode where Laura and Songo literally are shining the most? We love to see it, though, you know. Just gotta believe in him. It'll be fine. We're almost done with the episode. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. It doesn't hurt to try. Remember, our female JoJo, everyone. I mean, you know, some of the plans that Manasu comes with <laughs> comes up with are weird, but you know, she does it for a reason. She's our leader, and no matter what, everyone else has to follow her. Even though sometimes I feel like Laura is the leader and then, you know, Monatsu is the second in command. Maybe that's what I should cover my nails with. 
either the opal or something but i need a darker color on it which will be black but <laughs> i won't know until later on easy If they don't end up together by the end of this series, we're suing. This was a cute freaking episode. I don't know why, but I definitely got um, Kobuto feels. Or like, uh, oh my god. The school babysitter series feels. Oh my god. I miss that anime so much. Yeah, but still, I don't think I could be an actual teacher. I like kids, but, you know, mm. Well, yeah, me Doreen. It's like being, you know, um, <clears throat> a certain doll series, you know, where you have to proclaim or proclaim your love to someone with your own feelings. But it's mainly, you know, you talking through someone else. <laughs> But yeah, honestly, really, Sango and Laura truly shined in this episode. I thought this was really good for both of them. Even though really, like, everybody got, like, a little bit of character for Adelva. I can't speak. Oh, my God. Development. Mm-hmm. Yes, that is the word of the day. <laughs> Development. But Sango and Laura, this was really an episode that ultimately spoke about them i mean you gave me moments where they were both acting very level uh lovely motherly and very protective towards the preschool children i mean because of course that's like gonna be anyone when it comes to someone who is younger than them in a situation especially if they are the little kid because little kids are the um the future of the world basically even like even someone at my age i guess i am still one of those people who was the future of the generation of the world and it's like that and how whatever we or even the younger generation do um whatever outcome it is it's up to us and, and that's the same thing for these kids but it was really interesting to see laura protect the protect kids once again i cannot speak it is the morning i am tired um, because I always kind of assumed that Laura was kind of stuck up about kids and stuff because sometimes kids can be little, um, brats sometimes, but thank God we had two adorable cute kids who, yes, once again, they need to get together by the end of the series. I would like to see those kids come back and, you know, be older. Did you guys switch bodies? I wonder how that's gonna go, especially, you know, when Laura as Mirodin has to transform into Cure Papaya. Like, is that gonna work or are we going to get a moment like in Healing Good Pretty Cure where um one of the girls, I think it was either Nadoka or Hinata, tried to transform and it couldn't work. And I think it was Hinata because, like, the relationship of Nyantaran, um and Hina was, like, kind of not the greatest and such. And then also there was that woman with Nadoka. But I think that's going to be really interesting. I, I don't think we've had a moment 
in Pretty Cure where we've seen a body switching episode to see how, you know, the other person's life is and such and how they would react because you know what though like I said I think I think I said this last week one thing that I love about Laura and how I see myself in her a lot is sometimes Laura can be very 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 stuck up and I think this is going to be one of the reasons one of the many things of her learning how to okay um you know there's not an I in team or but still there's an I in independent because Laura is very independent and on her own and such and sometimes there are points where it's like she seems a little bit jealous even though she doesn't really show it at times there are times where she does really um feel a little jealous of the four that can transform into pretty girls and that she can only really do little to none and that's why I still once again your chick the girl right here this girl right here me mm -hmm, is hoping and praying that Laura is the final freaking cure because I want that I think we all want that, so hopefully it happens. But I mean, yeah, this this episode was really adorable and sweet and cute, and I loved it so much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode fourteen of Tropical Reach Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like; really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode fifteen. Bye, guys.